Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be doing a, a quick video on how to lip sync with frame to frame animation. And uh, this can be done the same way if you're, or not the same way, but uh, if you're using character animator, you still have to create um, a mouth set for your puppets. So uh, this is a good way to learn how to do that. Um, so what we're going to start here is, let me play you the dialogue that we're going to be doing. It's going to say, it's right there. It's right there. So that's what we're going to be doing. So um, uh, what program I'm using is Toon Boom Storyboard Pro 6. And you can do the same thing in Adobe Animate and Adobe Photoshop. In Photoshop, just make sure you click on your timeline and then you can start creating from there. Uh, but it's the same thing uh, on a Photoshop. You get to choose how long uh, each frame is, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, a second, or whatever. And then the same thing in Animate, but you can control the deals this way. With the same thing with this way, the Storyboard Pro. Uh, this is just an animation. Uh, um, program so you can strictly animate in it, but it's a vector based program, which is pretty cool because everything is super super clear. All right, but let's let's do some lip syncing here. So we can hear it's. So we're gonna we're gonna hear for the I the I it. So I think that's two frames long. No, it's one frame long, and there's the T. It. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to start at the top and we're going to create one new scene. There we go. So we're going to make this one frame long. There's one frame. Same thing for the T. We're going to make, it, uh, make a new scene. Make sure I click on the right one. Put in a new scene. We're going to create that's one frame at the same time. So one frame. So there's it. And then S. So that's one, two, three frames long. Let's zoom back in here. So one, two, three frames long. Okay. So we're gonna create a new panel and then make it three frames long. And you see how mine holds it right there, 0.03. So it'll tell you how long you need to make it. All right. So we're gonna do the lip sync here, which is E. It. So I'm gonna do E here. So I'm gonna create a new bit la layer because it's it's a smaller layer, especially when you're trying to do the pre-design and everything to make that way you can go back and uh, make any changes. Um, if you do it in your vector layer, it's gonna make a bigger file. It's gonna slow your program down. And you're not gonna be able to read it and see it right. So that's why we're gonna do a uh, bitmap layer. But if you're in like Photoshop or Adobe Animate, I really haven't worked in Animate too much. Um, the, the, the controls are confusing for me, and I just have I get frustrated a lot with that. Uh, but in Photoshop, man, Photoshop is a lot easier. Um, you can create all the layers you need, stuff like that. So it really no no big no, no big deal in slowing the program down. Uh, but within this program, once I start creating vector art, it starts to slow the program down. Um, so we're gonna draw a line here, and then we're gonna copy the top lips, okay? And then with it, E, so A. So we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna draw a line. And then just follow on the lips. So there's E. Yeah. Now we're going to go to the T. T, T. Now it's more teeth showing, you know what I mean? T. So on this on this gap here, we're going to follow again the same line. Let me create a, a new victor layer here. Always follow the middle line of the mouth. And then come in this way. And now I'm going to make this a little bigger. Because... Now you're showing two teeth, two mouths, top and bottom teeth. And then we're going to be doing the S. It's so here are the you got the S. So we're going to put a little curl in the top lip, and always forget to create a bit a bit mat layer. But and then that little curl there, you go like that, just like this. And then again, follow the top arches. Now this time, when you create the E, you come lower. And now you can create the S. There you go, just like that. Now that's S. Uh, let me go back on like the way I did that last part, how I curled it up. Just like that. Okay? Now that's it. So there's two fames for the R. So I'm going to create this, another another panel, or a new sequence, I think that's what it is, new sequence, or a new panel, yeah, that's correct, new panel. And we're going to make that too, for er, it's right. Okay. 
right there. Right. So right there. Right there. So I think it's seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there. So seven. The new panel is going to be seven. So right. Well, and the, you'd only have so many mouth sets. Uh, when you're drawing and um, character animator has really shown me on the mouse sets how to do that so we're gonna use the ah and that's I so right see how my mouth is open you can see the tongue with nothing in the black so uh, we're gonna create that and make it seven panels long or seven frames long so once I grab it then I can see how long it is five six seven all right right and then there there so this one's also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe I can make this one up two more, so nine. Right. Oh damn. There we go. So this one's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine panels long too, or nine frames long too. So new panel. And then you're gonna go back into nine frames. There you go. Alright now let's go uh, let's go draw this in. There. That's what I was missing. Though. So it's one. Let's make that one frame. And then the rest of it is there. The er sound. So there's two. Air. So let's make this one. Let's go ahead and make this current panel one. One frame. And we'll put another one that's eight, pa eight frames long for there. I knew it didn't look right when I was looking at it just a second ago. But now let's... Don't take me out. Don't stop recording. And the uh, way I'm recording my screen, guys, is with Windows and G. I'm using the Xbox. So that's how I'm recording my screen right now. All right, so now let's go back to here. So that's what we're going to be creating on this one, the R. And it's almost like the S. You're going to come this way. Make that little hump. Follow your top lips. But instead of putting the S, we're just going to leave it solid white. Right there. And this is the ah, like I was telling you, ah. So now we're going to go back to making the straight, a straight line in the mouth. And always follow the top curvature of the lips. And now we're going to do the eye. So we're going to start about middle of the arch, and then we're going to come down. And then again, make for the bottom lip, and then add your tongue. So there's the eye, right? Now here's the T. The t. So we're gonna make the make the tongue stick out a little bit, and I always forget creating my my bit mat layer. And I'll, like I said, I'll always follow the top. And then now this time we're going to create the T, like we do the E, I mean, the E. But we're going to put a little tongue right there to make it look like it's the th, th. And then the same thing at the very bottom. And now this is the, 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 the R again. So we can draw the R. You see how much cleaner the vector lines look than the bitmap layer? It looks all pixelated and stuff. And Control Z the same way in this program as it is in Adobe Photoshop and everything. Um, but I forgot to put the little hump in the R. So we're gonna do that. There you go, a little hump there. Be like Bob, a little accidental tree here. And then the teeth. And they're gonna stay white, okay? It'll stay all white. You don't need to put another line in there or anything. So there it is, right there. 
Now let's play let's play this back. So this from here took a one like a minute a second and a half. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels, six or seven panels. Let me take the onion skin off. And it's taking me about 10 minutes, 48 seconds to do these. So this is about eight panels to make her talk to say it's right there. So let's see how this looks. It's right there. I know it's zoomed out, but when I put in the editing program, I will zoom back in on it and I'll slow it down a little bit. You see how that looks? Now speed it up. See. Uh, but that's how you lip sync when you're doing frame to frame animation. And like I said, if you're going to use a character animator, you got to create a mouth set anyway. So you're going to have to learn how to draw your mouth sets and create and, and lip sync your audio. And a character animator, once you have your lip sync set, you don't have to draw it anymore. Um, you just have to put in your, your audio and then commute lip sync and it'll do it for you. And when you talk, your program will talk. Um, with this here, it's kind of difficult. Uh, because you have to go and you have to create your, you know, make all your animals, your animations talk. And so there's pros and cons on either side, but that's for another video. But I like to collaborate and put them both together. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed this. This is my first video of doing some B content like this, guys. Uh, so if y'all liked it and y'all want to see more, let me know. And I'll definitely see you next time, guys. Peace.